What is going on guys, Stefan here. First off, big shout out to all of you. We just passed 1,000 subscribers on the channel. Thank you for all the love and support you've shown me so far. It's been awesome. This is just the beginning. There is plenty more to come. But on to today's video, I just pulled up at the gym and I've shown a lot of body weight exercises on this channel. Today's gonna be a little bit more of the weightlifting. I'm gonna focus mostly on strength and explosiveness in the lower body and show you guys some exercises that will help you get faster on the field. For those of you who don't know, I am a soccer player, but I'm also a certified personal trainer, so I have quite a few tips to share with you today. When building a strong, explosive athlete, you want to focus on the legs in general, but in particular the hamstrings and the glutes, because this is where all your power and explosiveness comes from. As you guys know, I like doing some sort of light cardio just to warm myself up. Today I did about 15 minutes on the treadmill, and halfway through I stopped and did some static stretching. This workout today is going to focus mainly on the legs. We're trying to build strength, power, and explosiveness. To build this power and explosiveness, we're going to start by doing plyometrics and then later on in the workout transition more into the weight training. The stronger and more explosive you are in the gym is going to translate into being stronger, more explosive, and faster on the field. To build this explosiveness, I started with plyometrics. Before I even touch a weight, I always start with plyometrics. I want to come into them fresh so I can give maximal effort. I alternated between two exercises, with the first being a kneeling box jump. The reason why I started doing this kneeling instead of just standing is because when you do that first jump from your knees to your feet, it requires a lot of explosiveness coming from your hips. So once I do that first jump from my knees to my feet, I want to spend as little time on the ground as possible and spring right up onto the boxes. Right after that, I did a plyo split squat. So you're going to get into a normal split squat position with one foot up on the box and then right when you come down, explode back up, try to jump as high as you can, absorb the impact on the bottom and repeat. This is awesome for that single leg explosiveness and stability. Right after the plyometrics, I went into a trap bar deadlift. I use relatively lightweight with this because I focus on the explosiveness on the way up and controlling the weight on the way down. Just because this isn't a plyometric movement doesn't mean it shouldn't be fast and explosive. This isn't really a traditional deadlift because as you can see, I'm going up on my toes and then shrugging the bar at the top. The reason I do this is because I want to be fast and explosive from the ground all the way to the top of the movement. In one smooth, fast and explosive movement, you should drive the weight off the ground and that momentum should pretty much carry the weight up into that shrug and calf raise. Because the deadlift is a big compound movement, we're using lots of different muscle groups, I gave my legs a rest and did some abs in between. I always like doing supersets, alternating between two different exercises just to keep the intensity up. Moving on from those two exercises, the next big compound movement I did was a goblet squat. A goblet squat is just like a normal squat except you hold the weight in front of your chest. Any sort of squat is an awesome exercise to build overall strength. They really target the quads and the glutes. With all of these weighted exercises, I kept them all at 8 reps. Always, always, always before adding weight, make sure your form is perfect. Because the squat is a pretty demanding exercise that focus mostly on the quads and the glutes, I alternated between that and a single leg kettlebell deadlift. I kept the weight relatively light with this, again at 8 reps, but this targets all in the hamstrings. Not really focusing on moving a ton of weight with this exercise, just focusing on keeping myself stable and feeling the stretch in my hamstring at the bottom. The last two exercises I did for my legs were leg extensions and leg curls. I hardly ever use machines, these are pretty much the only two machines that I use in the gym. Most of my exercises are done with either body weight or free weights, just because I think that's better for athletes, requires a lot more stabilization. But with both of these exercises, I use a moderate amount of weight, I kept the reps at 12. All of the exercises I did previously focused on the power and the explosiveness. Using the machines, I just focused on feeling the squeeze in the muscle. Not too heavy, just focusing on controlling the weight through the entire movement. To finish it off, I just focused on 5 minutes of core work, nothing too intense here. But that's all I got for you today, hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Peace.